the Amazon guy but the guy is here outside they have like a little picnic table and it goes connected to a walkway and there's like a little dog park right there and then there's also a door right here that connects to the yoga studio And this is the dog park. I'm not gonna go over there and walk up on it, but they have like the little poop cleaning station, a little gate to enter, and you can close off if you just wanna like have your little dog right there. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's also a clubhouse. As you can see, it's freaking large. And it goes from three feet, six inches to four feet, six inches. And there's like a bench all the way around. It's more for like chilling and lounging around and stuff like that. It's the wi Isn't it so cute? Like this is really impressive. <clears throat> We've been here like two weeks and haven't um, visited often, but now I can put it on camera. There's also like cabanas over there. It seems like this cool lounging sort of area. They have tables. A grill. I want to go sit in this chair. Over here. So cute. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing like a apartment tour. And yeah, today is just like a very organization video. Right now, I'm going to actually head off to run some errands. Walmart, HEB, Sam's Club, and stuff like that. There's kitchen equipment that I want to buy, seasonings and stuff like that, laundry detergent. I just have like things that I need to buy freshly moving into an apartment. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys couldn't tell, this is my real hair. I just got a haircut and yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really short and cute. I know you guys are probably used to me wearing extensions and stuff like that, which is really cute too, but this is my real hair, but anyways, let's go ahead and get to running those errands. Like I said, Walmart, Sam's Club, H-E-B, all of that good stuff. At Sam's Club and I'm in the dog section. So far, I found these cute little soft and chewy milk bone dog treats. Ooh, 78 that's a pretty good price and then I also found these Purina moist and meaty burger pouches one thing I really like about this is that everything hold on let me show you over here everything is pouched separately 
and the food does feel like really moist. I want to get that for my dog because typically I buy the really, really big food, the really, really big bag of Beneful dog food. And I know when I use like a scooper, his food tends to dry out. So yeah, I decided to get that. Weber seasonings to try. I'm kind of really excited about that. I've been wanting to try these vitamins out. Also, when I shave, I love to use men razors. I feel like they're just so much stronger. For sure, gotta get some makeup wipes. There's like five packs. These are the best to get me. The best. Those are the ones that I get. But this time, I'm gonna get these two. Honey barbecue. Finally, I found my favorite freaking part, which is the seasonings. You guys know I love to cook, so. I've been wanting to come to Sam's Club to get like some bigger seasonings for my kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna get some french fry seasoning. Salons and lime. This is so cool. Definitely gonna try this out. It says you just have to mix it in some sour cream. And then it's a buffalo cheese dip mix. I found a lot. Got the black people seasonings. If you know, you know. Montreal Steakhouse. Garlic, lemon, that, that, that. You guys see? You guys can read. So these are all of the items that I got at Sam's Club. This is the second run that i did but yeah i love these mangoes they're so good with salt covered on top of them so i got these i also got some yummy cookies to add to this cooking jar that i have love the olive garden dressing granola got some spam just these are just a couple of the bathroom items that i had got as well i know i just got shampoo and conditioner from heb but i also wanted to get like some bulk shampoo and conditioner I also do a ton of washes when it comes to my extensions. These are the multivitamin gummies I wanted to try. So this is a better view of the new seasonings that I have. Seasonings right here are going to be the seasonings that are going on this bottom shelf right here. I want to fill out this rack and make it look better. Okay, so this is a better view of the seasoning shelf. This is the top shelf. Again, all of these big seasoning containers are from Sam's Club. These little seasoning packets are from H-E-B. Sometimes I just like to cheat and, you know, whip up something really quick. I don't have to think too, too hard about what I'm cooking when I use a little cooking sauce. This is my second shelf. In the back, we have the big seasonings. And then right in front, we have all of the Weber seasonings that we picked up today. Again, I had these previously, and then I just bought these today, as well as these Kinders in the back. This Mexican street corn seasoning that I'm really interested in trying pretty soon. And then, again, got the chicken broth, the dip. 
I've got some more chicken seasoning, some fry seasoning. If you guys are interested, I do cook with avocado oil. It's more healthier. This is what I use to fry my pancakes. Love, love, love Crisco butter. I also have Crisco oil for frying things such as chicken or anything. This is grease that is recycled. And yeah, I'm switching to this brand of olive oil when I start cooking. This is a small cookie jar, so I could probably only put like maybe four flavors. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. So this is what the cookies look like. Again, white macadamia nut, chocolate chunk, and oatmeal raisin. Those are my favorites. At least my favorites for now. And then yeah, that's all done. I was only able to fit one container in there, but that's okay. Okay, so I made it to Walmart and I'm like by the pots and pans. I'm gonna get me like a cast iron today because that's what I want to do. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna get a cast iron pan and then like some CSBs and stuff. So I found these pans. They're like literally sponsored by Tasty. So I think they're gonna be really good for cooking and then also for recording because they have the white um, inside. And then I found this pan. I found this four quart jumbo cooker. This big deep dish. And then also like some baking goods. I thought I would get this for brownies. Two cake pans to make like a double cake. And then there's this roaster pan. There's also a cast iron under here. Okay, I'm not gonna get this. And then for more baking and roasting vegetables, there's two deep dish pans. So I also found these cute little like serving trays. Serving <gasps> bowls, since I have four circle serving bowls already. I, I like to use stuff like that, like for taco night, you can put lettuce, tomato, sliced avocado, sour cream, you know, stuff like that. But now I'm in the seasoning section and I'm going to grab some stuff. You guys, take a look at this though. Not only do they have Fruity Pebbles pancakes, they literally freaking have glue maple syrup. That is so freaking weird. So these are the mini chocolate chips that I like to use for chocolate chip pancakes. Some Tony seasoning, some Old Bay seasoning, blackened seasoning, New Orleans Cajun, Applewood, honey hickory, buttery garlic salt, and then they had the caramelized onion burger. I went ahead and got this container so I can make my jerk seasoning and put it in this container. If you know me, you know I love pasta, and this is gonna be really, really well for pasta with like big chicken on top. These are the pots and pans that I will be getting rid of, starting off small. These are just like the daily. So I have everything in the containers now. Stuff like this makes me so freaking excited. So we have brown sugar, regular sugar, flour, 
jasmine rice, spaghetti, bow tie pasta, and powdered sugar. I have these two containers left over. I'm not really sure what I want to put in them just yet. I was thinking maybe like breadcrumbs and like linguine pasta or Okay, so small apartment tour. This is the living room. It's a good size. There's like a patio right there. Right now I have this twin mattress in the living room that I need to give. I need to deliver that to my brother's house, but for right now, it's gonna be transferred to the one bedroom. Um, yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. If you turn this way, this is the kitchen. It's not super put together just yet, so I don't wanna really show it off like that, but to show you guys, you know, laundry area, drinks and stuff. You come back this way, it's the dining room. Like, it's a decent little spot. Got my dog. Deep freezer, whatever. Um, the bathroom is here. We're not gonna go in there, but this is the bedroom. Unfortunately, this bed frame is broken. I will be ordering a new bed frame for Amazon. I saw they have some for like $250. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to, I'm just gonna order like a metal frame. This is my makeup vanity. This is where I was just recording in the beginning of the video. That is my makeup artist stuff. I have so, so much. It's literally overflowing, overpiling and just a lot going on. I have a makeup organizer. I have an acrylic makeup organizer that I need to open. It looks exactly like that one, but I'm gonna put it on camera and open it with you guys and then also organize all my makeup artist stuff in another video. This is just like the gist of everything or I might put it in this video to stretch it out. I know I wanna start recording like hour-long vlogs i see people have like successful vlogs that are an hour long on youtube so i want to get into that over here is my closet this is also a room that i'm going to be reorganizing this is what it looks like before and i know typic me personally i love to watch like closet transformation or like organization closet transformation video so i'm going to record just organizing and decluttering and cleaning out my closet show you guys some stuff that i have like i really don't have designer items like i said but i do have like pieces of stuff that are near and dear to me and then i'm probably gonna get rid of most things because i've got grown out of a lot of things and yeah all of these are affordable these sunglasses were like three dollars each on shein.com if you've seen my shein video thank you guys so much for watching yeah and then i have like my perfumes i'm gonna pull all this stuff out of the closet and put it in the glam room this is going to be a glam room eventually <laughs> A trail right there. This is his first time going. Early break is to win. We are night shift workers.
So we're about to take him down this slide for the first time. So different angle, we're at the top. We're about to go down the slide. We try to record the inside view. It's a freaking crazy museum here, but this is the other slide. That's the other playground that we were on just a second ago. You can kind of see a piece of it. Yeah, you ready, Kim? Look. So we finally made it to the end of the trail and that's what it looks like, just a little door connected to the back of the apartment complex. Thank you. 